Hello, hello, it's your boy that I'm a gamer and today we're checking, uh, we're gonna be, um, I haven't done these, this kind of video in a long time. Commentaries, where I sit down and talk to you about my personal opinions on stuff. And I feel like some time, well, a lot of times passed since the start of the new Fortnite season, and I am going to give my input on everything. So let's start with the um, bad, the bad, the ugly, the disgusting, get it out of my face, put it in the basement, and never, ever touch it again. So the main complaint that a lot of people, including me, have is the mobility in this season is absolutely um, terrible. And I hope they do change it. Like, I've always, I was going to tweet this out, but I'm going to say it here. We have the Citadel. Still in the map. Same with the... Uh, we did have Anvil Square, Square last season, but it's now gone. But yeah. And then we still have Mega City and Kenjinji Crossroads, or whatever it's called, where there's Katana stands. And with the Citadel, there was the Hammers. I get it. It's a new season. They have to remove stuff and keep stuff and stuff like that. But it makes no sense they literally remove, like, the Ageless Chesses... And the hammer and all of their gear, to be honest, everything, the bird, the shield, I'm probably missing something else, the Excalibur, like there was no point in getting rid of it because the stuff was still on the map last season and this season. Same with the Katana, like the Mega City is still there on the map right now, as well as Kenjutsu Crossroads. Where all where most katanas actually spawn on the map. I don't understand why they don't keep these items in the game. And now I understand it's a new season. They get rid of it. They add something else. I get it. That's what happened in chapter two, uh, last season. They got rid of the hammer. They added the kinetic blade. It was a compensation. But the f it just bothers me that the fact that these locations are on the map. And their items are not. It kind of bugs me. But it's not the end of the world. It's just the fact that there's no ability this season. And that's what bugs me mainly. Anyways. Another thing I'd say is. Um, let's just get to the cosmetics for the season. So the battle pass. It's a really solid battle pass like last season. There was no, um, no um, battle pass skin I hated last season. And it same goes this season except for one. Which a lot of people are very diverse on. I'm more on the other side. I do not like this idea. Specifically because I'm just not a fan of it anymore. It is the Transformers collaboration. I think it's a great collaboration. I'm really glad that everybody loves it. And if you are a fan of Transformers, I'm proud of you. You got your favorite thing in this game. But, in my opinion, I used to be a fan of Transformers when I was little. Like... Like, 10 or younger. Like, I, I love Transformers. Everybody, as a kid, loves Transformers and still do. But, in my opinion, I, I've i lost that kind of spark inside of me. I think Transformers are still cool to this day. It's just that I don't really like them all that much anymore. And having Optimus Prime as the 200 skin? First of all, let's get to... page full of it but what i mean by barely i mean like usable and want to be used in game he has a loading screen a spray a back bling a skin a built-in emote a and a pickaxe and that's really about what i could remember honestly because that page is really forgettable in my opinion but like you can only use the skin you can only use the back leg, you can only use the big X, and to an extent, the built-in emote. One, who's going to be putting down a spray? I mean, I've been starting to like sprays now, but like I'm just talking from an outsider's perspective who is not a fan of Transformers and doesn't like the emoticons and sprays. Like, who is going to use those in-game? Uh, no one, that's who. And just overall, it's a really bland skin, in my opinion. I mean, I don't have a problem with bland skins. I love a lot of bland skins, but, like, he's just 
not there, you know, he's super bland and doesn't deserve really tier 100. I feel like it was just a marketing tool just to get people to buy the bad best tiers. It's not right. And it actually worked a lot. I've seen a lot of Optimus Primes in um, Party Royale, more than I've ever seen any other tier 100 in the game in Battle, uh, Party Royale. It's crazy. But, like, I just, in my opinion, I don't like it. Now, let's get to the good. Actually, actually, I think I should get back to the bad, actually, because the meta this season is... It is horrible. It is, it is disgusting. It's not good at all. I hate it. Last season's meta was amazing. It had good, balanced weapons. This season... I tell you one thing. Oh, I, I'm sorry to curse. I wasn't gonna curse this this video, but why the fuck did they add back the drum shotgun? It makes no. Oh, it is the worst. Could have picked out any other shotgun this season, like the lever action or the ranger shotgun, which would made tens of thousands more sense for this season than the drum shotgun. But they added the drum shotgun anyways. Let's, I'll just show you a clip that I took in that I think from the perspective of Epic Games thought when they were going to add back to drum shotgun. Here you go. Well, like, who at Epic Games is like, hmm, Timmy Boy and Donald Boy. If you don't know, Donald Mustard and Tim Swing are, um, like, CEOs of Epic Games anyway. Like, hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to add more guns for uh, season three of Fortnite Chapter Four. Uh, what do we add? And then that one motherfucker in the back was like, "Hey, let's uh, let's bring back that one gun that everybody hates. What was it called? Uh, the drum shotgun." And then all of them look at him like, "That's great job. That's great job, Johnny. The one you're the best. You're the best at what you do. You're getting a promotion. You're so good." Now that man should be fired. The one person who thought it was a good idea to bring back the drum truck and should get fired. Now, why are you whining about a gun? It's just a gun. Play this game, and I guarantee you will get most likely killed by a drum shotgun nine times out of ten. It is not fun. It is a gun that requires zero brain cells to use. They apparently nerfed it back in Chapter 3, Season 2. But that was... They, they did not even nerf it. They, they... Nothing. And not only that, not only that, not even though the brightest idea of Fortnite was like, yeah, let's bring back the drum shotgun. Everybody will love that. Not only that, they added a fucking mythic version of it. Okay, I'll admit, I can understand why people hated the overclock rifle. I loved it. And also hate it to an extent. Now, now thinking, do I like to enjoy? Do I enjoy using the mythic version of the drum shotgun against people? But I don't like it against me. No, I actually hate using it. But I have to use it because if I don't use it, somebody else is going to use it. and I'm going to die. So I might as well have to use it, which I really shouldn't have to. But I have to anyways. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> well. That was the bad and the ugly of this chap this season. I will tell you some good things I enjoy. One, I really enjoy the new POI that you're actually seeing in the background video. I really enjoy it. I'm I'm not the one to like jungle themes, but I think they they knocked it out of the park as well as the grind vines that are basically work the same way as um grind grind rails that were in Mega City and other locations. Which, by the way, they removed some grind rail locations from the map away from all locations besides Mega City, which I don't understand why they did that. Do they just want less in the mobility? Because I think that's what they were trying to do, honestly, even though they were only in POIs and not stretch around the entire map, kind of like the wind turbines from Season 9. So, yeah. But that's not, eh, that's not really a bug to me. It's just, it just makes a little, no sense.
Yeah. And the, uh, the, uh, the boomerang, the kinetic boomerang is actually a really fun weapon. At the start, it was, um, I didn't really like it all that much, and I felt like it was a little useless. But in some situations, you'd be surprised how really good it is, actually. It is a really good and fun weapon. Same with the Cybertron rifle, um, gun. It is a huge-ass gun. And in some, most situations, you're probably not going to use it, but... Other situations, just like how I said about the boomerang, it can actually really come in handy. And um, that's really pretty much it. We also, um, I'm going to mention here, we actually have a new Nike collaboration going on. And I am going to absolutely cop the absolute crap out of that entire set because I love Nike to death. I love sh Nike shoes. So yeah, just wanted to um, um, say that, um, just put that out there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the um, video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.